Hello world, this is uh, Kodak from Eric Sins and today we are with Analog Zone at the awesome event called Superboost in Berlin, Germany. And today we're gonna show our newest brainchild, it's the drum sequencer. As you can see it has uh, 12 trigger outs with accents and uh, 4 trigger outs without accents. It also has mid in, uh, of course clock out, lock in, CV out and gate out like there's one CV gate track and two LFO outs, which are like clocked and you can change the wave shape. And of course, uh, the most important thing is that we have this awesome uh, computer keys. And there's uh, all the functions you would expect from the trigger sequencer, like super easy laid out. And you can just like copy tracks, mute tracks, make the different lengths for each track by just holding the last step and pressing this button. You can also tap record, like on NPC. I think maybe you should see it on the module, like right now. <laughs> so this was just the overview. And now let's see it in action. So, what I have here is the mute screen. I will just now unmute pre-recorded parts. Tracks. Okay. Now I'll switch to snare track. Hey, I can... I can easily edit. More tracks. And of course you can also trigger envelopes of, uh, and sequences and stuff like that. We can make this track now polyrhythmic. Now it's eight steps. Play directions, backward, ping pong, and of course random, and back to normal. Bring it some other parts. And there's like a, a lot of banks where you can save everything, like 16, 16 banks and 16 patterns in each. And you can also do instant pattern switching like this. Oh, this is empty pattern. And it's super nice to play with. You may be wondering what, what, what is this super sweet and nice sounding bass drum. So we can take a look here. There is also a new module, it's called the bass drum. It's based on the 909. This is the first prototype, but you can see, see what's coming soon now too. Also, cool feature about the sequencer is that it has a different measure per track, so I can do stuff like this. If you don't want to learn how to use the sequencer, you can always use the tap mode and just record tracks like with MPC, just like playing in by hand. I will show my great finger drumming skills right now. Like, oh. <laughs> so that's it, yeah. Thanks for coming by.